So your first question is, how can you make fundraisers more effective? The way I can make fundraisers more effective for BSA is by making them monthly on the same exact GBM. For example, the fourth and last GBM of the month. The only one that's um, out of that rule or exception is the UCSD SDSU ice skating fundraiser because um, that has to be you know planned accordingly to UCSD in our event time. So to make it more um, efficient, um, um, something that I know from UCSD is that they always have like a social right after their GBMs. Something that I want to start doing that with um, for next year. Like I said, um, the last GBM. So GBMers will know for sure that, oh, today there should be a fundraiser. We're going to go out to eat. So that could be more effective. Uh, I used to make flyers. I don't know how effective flyers are anymore, but if we make them, there's a physical copy that they could have with them. So they could always see that. Um, um, as treasurer, do you have an ideal um, goal that um, you will help VSA reach for next year? Ideal goal. Okay. I do have an ideal goal right now. Um, because everything was so new to us for BCN, we didn't get to start sponsoring and talking to uh, reaching out to the community until later this year but now that we already have like a good grasp like a sense um for what we have uh, what's it called let's see for what we have to do for vcn we could start um sponsoring even earlier like once the school year starts i want us to talk to uh, all the community like the restaurants i go to is um uh, with fellow gbmers and cab members um we could start already networking at the beginning of the year that's my goal to have um more community at our VCN because um, I felt like we were lacking that, but also um, just because of all the circumstances that we had. But um, that's one of my goals. And yeah. As treasurer, how would you set up a sponsorship system in the case that we do have a VCN and or a high school conference next year? Can you repeat that again, please? Sure. How would you set up a sponsorship system in the case that we do have VCN and or high school conference next year? Hmm. To be quite honest, I don't know how to deal with that at the moment, but um, our sponsorship should be mostly aimed towards VCN. And we could do like, uh, we don't have to have like a sponsorship pamphlet for uh, high school conference. We could just do regular PowerPoint presentations, which I'm very accustomed to. So. Um, and also, power, um, PowerPoint presentations are cost-effective. You could just share them through um, files, and you could just bring them anywhere you want. You don't have to remember to bring the pamphlets with you. So that's something I would go to. Let me see. How would I go in an event? But yeah, VCN will always be top priority. <laughs> yeah. Um, you already kind of touched up upon this, but can you name some of your fundraiser ideas? Um, I always wanted to do some like laser tag more active one, because uh, laser tag is funny. <laughs> I think it would be able to bring us together somehow better. Um, I also want to do, uh, there is a Chipotle fundraiser, but we can't do it at school. Because I know that, we've tried that, but um, Chipotle fundraisers always happen to have a lot of money because they give like 50% back. That's something that we could try and not do on campus. Um, obviously the yogurt land fundraisers, the tea, um, there's like some boba shops, tea station with their um, uh, half off like the, what's that called, the happy hour deals and stuff like that. Um, let's see what other fundraisers. Ah, I know, um, I saw you, um, I saw Samohan do this, it's their pie off thing. That seems always fun. I think, yeah, that would be super fun to see GBMers hit their cab members with pie. For money! <laughs> so yeah, that's, those are some of my fundraiser ideas. Uh, what is your system for reimbursements? Um, I know AS requires the receipt, the physical receipt, but um, I've actually been meticulous about my own receipts, so I would keep them um, by month and by event. So I have like, um, something I touched upon in my speech is my notebook idea. Um, I want to have like these, uh, I'll be able to attach like this, uh, have pocket slip for each event, and I could just slide in the receipts there. What does it mean to be financially solvent? 
And how would you help VSA be financially solvent? I don't know what it means to be financially solvent, but financially stable, something, I know it's like off topic, but um, financially, huh, I don't know what that means. But to make sure VSA is on top of their budgets, don't go over the budgets and um, always be strict with it. Um, let's see, always having enough fundings for our events. Always make sure, um, plan ahead, something that we need to start doing. Uh, give um, strict deadlines for certain events of what to do because um, on my time on board uh, we tend to like skip around like certain steps and you'll do something ahead when it should have been um, oops, sorry, me. we kind of move around the steps uh, let's see we do a step that should have been done later earlier when we should have um, figured out the earlier parts first because those are more um, like the foundation for the whole event um, how does the position of Director of Finance relate to the mission statement of VSA? Um, a lot of our events, um, to preserve culture, um, let me see. A lot of the big events that we try to give to our GB Emerson community does revolve money, unfortunately, and, um, for our mission statement to do VCN, we need money. Like the um, the financial director is like the backbone of all those big events. And let's see, oh, darn, I forgot the question. Sorry, can you repeat that? Um, how does the director of finance relate to our mission statement? Yes, I um, the financial director is the backbone of basically everything in VSA. Um, to do activities, to do anything, we're in charge of all the money. Um, the paperwork to just even have the event, um, to have our uh, mission statement be spread. So, Treasurer works closely with AS. What would you do if a reimbursement gets denied, and how would you establish a better connection with them in order for all the deposits and reimbursements to run smoothly? Hmm. Okay, so. If a reimbursement got denied, I would probably uh, go there again and talk to them personally. Uh, file com um, maybe a complaint. Like there's probably a there's probably a way to like tell them that there's something wrong, and also to make it more smoothly. Um, I don't know honestly. Just uh, make sure that the paperwork I did was correct, and that they do their job on the end. Like that's really the only way you can make it smoothly. Unless um, I just make like. Yeah, that, that's it, basically. Okay, um, VSA has a safety net. Do you know how it is? And um, if you had to use some of that money, what steps would you do to pull VSA up financially? Hmm. I don't know any safety nets, but if I had to do something, I would uh, look at previous data from pre previous years and look at the most, uh, the biggest, uh, what's that word? biggest profit from any fundraisers and try to do that. Yes. That's all I have. Alright. In the event that member turnout isn't great for fundraisers, what would you do in order to make sure there's enough funding for events such as Film Fest, VCN, High School Conference, and Big Wit? Hmm. Can you repeat that again, please? Sure. In the event that member turnout isn't great for fundraisers, what would you do in order to make sure there's enough funding for events such as Film Fest, VCN, High School Conference, and Banquet? Uh, so if the member turnout is not high at fundraiser, that means there might be something wrong with our side that we weren't, um, what's that word? we aren't promoting enough. That's something that we haven't been doing a lot. Enough, enough. But um, we do need to promote a lot more. We need to make event pages much sooner. Um, just talk to everyone you can. Like have every cab member, not just the person in charge of it. Have every cab member talk it, um, talk about among it with their friends. 
Um, I know we have funding from AS. Um, I would have to plan the budget accordingly to make sure everything is, um, each of the three big events would be able to be uh, pulled off. So, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. And also, uh, I know there's grants from NVSA. So that's something that we should try to aim for too. Something I should aim for too. Awesome. So the next one is that's a two part. So I'll ask the first question right now, and then after that, I'll send you the follow, or I'll ask you the I'll follow. So, since we are attempting to run not only BCN but also a film festival and a high school conference, what are your plans for fundraising and sponsorships? Um. Can I just say all, like, all the ideas I had before? Sure. So, uh, like I said, um, sponsorships would be uh, more focused on uh, BCN and then PowerPoint presentations for the other ones so we could like reduce the spending for pamphlets along... Um, and then just do one big fundraiser each month and focus on those fundraisers. Not have uh, a lot of fundraisers throughout the month like, just go uh, full out, like, go all out on those fundraisers and, like, promote big. And the follow-up to this? <clears throat> How would you build relationships to businesses in the San Diego community in the hopes of having long-term sponsors? Something that I touched upon, like, before, um, is that you have to continuously go to that business. Um, I know for um, for a fact that I go to uh, we go to several Vietnamese restaurants continuously, and um, something that our fundraiser can be incorporated with is that um, every year we go to that same place and build a relationship with them that way. So um, something we should set like a precedent, like just keep going to that same place, and also um, just talking to the owners. Um, Having uh, close relationships with the owners is really important. Just talking to them um, and then asking them to come out to our events is really big. I know um, we should have uh, we should ask people to come out to our film fest, like community uh, store owners and stuff. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Those are hard questions.